get back into some more girl chat. Everyone owns something that they can't live without. And for actor Dax Shepard, it's his lazy boy reclining chair. <laughs> now, according to his wife, actress Kristen Bell, placing his recliner in the middle of their oh, living no. room is not acceptable in terms of tying the room together. But Dax is Ugh. not apologizing for the chair and says it makes for great TV viewing. So ladies, is there any piece of furniture the man in your life insists on having that just doesn't work for you? You know, I date a lot of younger guys, and, uh -huh. and they had their own places, and they love that black, black leather. leather. It'd be pleather, <laughs> that black leather sofa. Ooh, that yeah. your thighs get stuck to? Yes. yes. And you be sweating on this stuff, yes. especially when you naked. I'm yep. like, oh my yes. goodness. Yep. <laughs> my your thighs, don't touch your, body. your thighs never been stuck nice and moist to a leather sofa? Yeah, it has. It's happened. It really has. Yes. But it's always black. black. It's never one, you know, it's like. Never color. And it's that same type of a sofa where it's real slouchy mm -hmm. and it usually is an L shape. Mm -hmm. And if they got a discount, then it'll be a little separated, but the last piece doesn't mix with the first piece. All the time. Yeah. You know where she and went wrong screen. with that? Where? She should have just, sorry gotten rid of the sofa that was behind it and just stacked a bunch of those. But then at least the room would have some sort she of... She is not trying to make her house a bunch of like lazy boys. Like Are you crazy? You would actually get rid of all the other sofas and line up your house have with like those? At least there would be like continuity. It would be like eye pick up in there, you know? like Or create like a movie theater in your house. Like that could look cool. That's I supposed, actually like that idea. That's supposed yeah, to be like in his that. man cave. That's yes. what that's supposed I to agree. be. I agree. And the good furniture is supposed to be up in their like living room area and stuff. That's man cave You furniture. have to admit, whenever you go to someone's house, especially if they're married, it's not the greatest thing, but you can definitely tell a man when he's a bachelor <laughs> to when he's married, because a woman can come and hook it up. Yeah, yes. that right? is true. That, that is, is have true. A touch. That is true. I had to do that, um, <laughs> but I think I compromised, because Adam, he, oh Your Lord. Your house is beautiful. Thank you. Uh, but we had to we had to work on it a little bit. Like what? Um, the, the coolest thing that I did is Adam has lots of tchotch tchotch keys, uh -huh. and you can't really tell that they're out of place because I have a really cool like uh, bookshelf, bookshelf, and I place them in in a really cool uh -huh. like design, and then I surround them with other things like me that just makes it look a little bit cohesive. Yes, you know? cohesive. Cohesive. Was the word I was However. He was really attached to uh, these pieces of furniture that are like 17, they're from the 1700s. They're his great, great grandmother and grandfather's furniture. And I really didn't know what to do with it. What did it look a, like? It looked like, it looked like oh, George Lord. Washington. It was pretty much <laughs> something that you'd see in a museum, if, oh, okay. if, I'm, if I'm honest. Yeah. Was it even comfortable to sit on? No, that's the thing. It, it, it wasn't. Because they were smaller back yes, then. Yeah, they you were. were being so nice right now. I am. Yo, I came over to Tam's house one time. Tam has like a very New Hampshire. She lives by the beach. Cape so New Hampshire, Cod. Cape Cod. That's the beach house. Breezy type of a home. Yes. And I could see, she showed me like, oh, I got bought this at a thrift shop. And I got this when we were you know, traveling. I brought this from Napa. And what's this over here, Tam? And it would be like a little cool sculpture <laughs> that's like this. She's like, oh, that's Adam's, um, Adam's grandmother's. Yes, we keep it there, you know, <laughs> just where we can. You know, yes. but then, <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> so raw. You guys, I know oh. Adam's parents watch the show like every single day, and they're, you know, they're arts and fathers and, and grandfather <laughs> stuff. Um, but yeah, I do. I hide it behind. Uh, <laughs> Now you know what's a gonna happen. Curtain. You know that bar, that little bar piece yes. in the in the corner yes. of my house? Yes. That's his great grandfather's. And it and it serves like as a as a bar. It's covered by the TV. It is. <laughs> no, that one's covered by lots of alcohol. That, so yeah. you got it's a lot of stuff house. in your house that's worth money. I do, actually. I should go to Antiques Road Show. Oh, you really could, honestly. That's the only reason why I decided to keep it. At the same time, what I love. <laughs> No, but, but what I really love is that I, I don't, my biggest pet peeve is when you walk into a couple's house yes. and all you see is the woman's Wife. touch. Yes. All you see is it looks like it you know, came out of a magazine or you see it's all pink or girly. And I love that you celebrate Adam's so photography much. and his work. Like he's got big she portraits has no choice. and things like that. And he, 
<laughs> he, she hangs it up, and you guys have melded it to there, together and mixed it up along with Grandmama's things right yes. there. Yes. Janie, yours is the same. Yes. Oh, I know. I love it. We have to take a break it. for this more girl chat with guest co host Shikana on the way. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the video. for the week, the one and only Shikana. <laughs> Let's get back into some girl chat. Now, recently, NBA legend Kevin Garnett told Time Magazine that when it came to training, he looked to Beyonce for fit inspiration. Garnett said that when he saw her working out, dancing and singing at the same time, <laughs> it made him think he could do the same thing. This way, when he was on the court playing and talking defense, he wouldn't get tired. So, <laughs> Shikana. What's the best fitness advice you've ever received? Well, a man told me to do crunches, you know, and, um... <laughs> he told me to do crunches for a smaller ways, but unfortunately, I just go to the plastic surgery, and that's bad. <laughs> but after this new surgery, I, you know, I plan on doing crunches and getting it together. And then someone told me yoga, so I went, on, I went on about this yoga thing, like this big old thing to go in my house, yeah. where you can flip up and down. I got on it one time. I haven't been back on it since. Oh. So I'm not what good for it? the fitness. What is it? Called? It's a yoga swing. It's like a real big one. It goes in my house. Oh. And it flips. It does all, it does all kind of stuff. Yeah, I it got makes it off you it. go inverted and yeah. stuff and upside down. You like Batman has. It's deep. It's a big, yes. it's a big sh machine. But you're supposed to be able to have better sex when you But do I don't that. use it for the sex. <laughs> I was using it to, to stretch my muscles. I wanted the longer, I wanted the longer torso because mine's so short to the ground. And I wanted to be longer. So I'm thinking like, hey, this machine gonna be able to make me stretch and lean <laughs> my bones ain't did nothing. And you only use it once? <laughs> once. Uh, why you ain't using it no more? Because I got on it and it made me dizzy and I didn't want it in the <laughs> <laughs> Fitness, the best fitness uh, advice you've ever gotten. Drink water while you're working out. Drink water while that is that's true. Drink you, water while you're working true. out. Future. Okay. So she listens. You to want to know what kind of music I listen to? I listen to Future. Oh, I love that. When you're working out. Yeah. Yes. I love it. And who's your like fitness inspiration? Like, if there's somebody that you're like, oh, she, yes. like, it's amazing. <sighs> <laughs> All the little girls on Instagram, that's fine. They all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's so many Instagram, courage, you know. Yeah, so many Instagram but that's girls. not always a workout. Sometimes that's a workout of your finger with the face tune. Yeah, I get out of there, but it's a lot of bad. I want to look like that what they look like with the face tune. Exactly. You know. <laughs> I see what you mean. Yeah. So you I, know who's trying to be my fitness guru mm -hmm. over? The her. Come on, let's go to Zumba class. Yes, it is so much fun. Bonnie, you would love Zumba. You would. Yeah. You would love Zumba. And you would, too. You know let's how many calories? Let's just go out and eat. Bonnie. Do you, know how, do you know how many calories you can burn in one Zumba how class? Many? How many? How many? You guys, up to like 800 calories. That's really? Wow. That's, That's a lot, lot Lonnie. That's a lot. Oh my Lonnie, God. I'm not going. I have to take off my bag. What do you not like about, what, what, what turns you off? I like Zumba? walking. Like one time, <laughs> Tam took me walking. Yes. <laughs> And? It took us two hours. Because I kept sitting down. I'm like, hold on. And I was like, ooh, look at all of this. But Lonnie, I have a question. <laughs> Did you ever regret it afterwards? It, 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 you, exercising. <laughs> do you ever regret it afterwards? You do? Why? No. Why? Lonnie, Does it why? hurt? It's, you, you're usually sore. Everything. I it's know, like, but it aren't hurts. you happy that you did it? You moved your no, body? No, I'm not. That's calories. what you like to do. You like to drink. You like to exercise. That's different. Oh, my God. That's it. Okay, you know who I really like? My <laughs> fitness inspiration is not actually a guy about body. It's a guy about mind. I love myself some Dwayne Johnson. Yes. Let me tell you why. That Ooh, man gets sexy. up. He gets up. Yes, yes. Woo, woo, there away. Because that man gets up every single day at 4 a.m. Yeah. to do what he calls clanging and banging. Oh. And I love it because he just... So I wake up at 5 o'clock every morning and I do what I call progging. I throw on a weight vest and then I have this little hill where I do... I, I, I pray jog. So I jog and I also pray. Sometimes I'm praying because I'm mad at my husband. Sometimes I'm praying because my mama my eyes drives me crazy. <laughs> but I'm praying. But I always wake up every morning and I love that Dwayne Johnson in Miami, he always posts his before me and he motivates me through his motivational speeches. So, thank you so much for keeping me so Yeah, I look at it too, and I don't get motivated. I go right back to sleep. I say, Oh, he's up. Okay, now I know you up. All right, that's all for Girl Chat today. But there's more of the real with our guest co host, Shikana. Come
coming up next. We'll be right back. Uh, Girl, if Daddy had died, we would.